but this is just what is on my dress form at the moment. I've decided that when I am working on drafting or draping a project, I will share it with you all just to let you know what I have been up to. So I pulled out some corduroy fabric that I had left over, some scraps, and I draped it on the dress form and it looks like it is turning into a skirt. I was just kind of placing the fabric and playing just to see how things were beginning to look. I put a couple darts back here. They're not even, I will need to straighten those out. And then I put a dart here on the side and then I cut the hem at like an angle. And then there would be like a split here in the front and hopefully I have enough fabric to create like a waistband but this is just what is on my dress form at the moment so I want to do a little pattern hacking I am about to make a sweatshirt dress I want to make McCall 7061 I am planning to make view D because it has a straight hem which I really like at the bottom and I want to add the hood from view B the fabric that I will be using is this really nice sweatshirt fabric and I really love the color. The inside is a little bit lighter than the outside and so I was thinking I might use the inside for a part of the sleeve. So I've decided that I want to gather this portion of the sleeve into this portion of the sleeve. So what I am going to do is I'm going to extend this sleeve out by about two inches on each side. Let me grab a marker. So I'm going to draw a line about two inches over here. And then also two inches on this side. And then I'm going to just take the ruler, line it up with the two inch mark, and angle it down to the end of the sleeve. And I'm going to draw a line. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And that way, the bottom portion of the sleeve will be a little bit longer than the top portion of the sleeve. And then I can gather everything into the top portion. So this is the, let me see if I can hold it up. This is what it is looking like at the moment. And then I'm just gonna cut everything away. And I'm thinking that I may use the inside of the sweatshirt, the wrong side of the sweatshirt fabric for the bottom portion. Or I may use it for the top portion, I'm not sure. But I want to incorporate the wrong side of the fabric into the sleeve in some kind of way. Because I like the way the inside of the fabric looks. And I think the contrast will be kind of cute. There is a band that goes on the bottom of the sleeve area here. And so that's why I did not want to lengthen this portion of the pattern. So I angled everything down into the sleeve hem. Okay, so this is going to be what I use to cut out the fabric. And then for this top portion, I can actually just separate this. It's taped down at the moment, but I don't need to cut this out because it's going to remain the same. Oh, I almost forgot to add seam allowance. So you want to make sure you add seam allowance to this portion of the sleeve and also this bottom portion 
of the sleeve. I also want to lengthen the dress. So there is a lengthen or shorten line on the pattern. And I cut across that line here to separate the top of the dress from the bottom. I did the same thing on the front. Is this the front? Yeah. I did the same thing on the front. And then what I'm going to do is spread it out the length that I want it to be, which I haven't determined yet. And then I'm going to place this piece of paper behind here to lengthen the pattern. And I'll do this same thing on this side once I determine how long I want these pieces to be. The other change that I want to make is I want to add a drawstring to the hem of the dress. So I just cut two strips of fabric. They are about 36 inches long, so maybe like a yard long. And they are three inches wide. And I am going to sew these together, turn them inside out, flip them, and then thread them through the bottom of the hem when I get to that point. This pattern has a front pocket here and this is the pattern piece that I'm going to use for the pocket. And if you remember, I had to separate this here in order to lengthen the dress. After I cut everything out, I did end up putting these two pieces back together so that I can mark the proper placement for the front pocket, which is indicated by this circle here and also a little circle right here. So right now I am attaching the front to the back and I did put the sleeve together and this is how it's looking so far and then of course you know I will sew, sew the sleeve closed like this so that I can insert it into the dress but so far so good. I only sewed the side seam down to a certain point, which in my case was nine and a half inches from the bottom of the dress. And once I stopped sewing, I took a piece of basting tape, wash away tape, and I placed it on the inside of the raw edge here. And it's sticky, so then I folded it over and pressed it down. Then I am going to stitch around here from one side over to this side, just to make sure that this is secure. After that, I will be able to fold the hem up and stitch it down. Then I will take the strings, the pieces that I want to be the drawstrings. I will, you know, fold this together and sew it. And then I will be able to slide it through the bottom of the hem which will act like a casing and then the strap will go from one end and come out on the other end and I will do the same process for the front and the same process for the back. I turned out one of the straps and this is what it's looking like and now I am turning out the second one and I'm using a safety pin. So I just attached the safety pin to the end of this and then I tucked it inside and now I'm moving it through the tube. I finally got to the end and here's the safety pin. I like this part, it's kind of fun when you finally get to the end and you're able to pull everything out. I actually think I'm going to hem the dress and put these straps in at the end. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and finish the dress. I need to put the hood on and the sleeves. I just finished putting the hood on. I actually decided to use the wrong side of the fabric for the hood also. And the pattern has you do some top stitching which I think makes the hood look really professional. And this is what the contrasting fabric looks like on the front with the wrong side of the fabric 
on the outside for the hood and then the right side of the fabric is on the inside. I have the sleeves on. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start working on the hem and I just folded up the bottom of the hem and then I took the strap and placed it on top of the hem and I just want to fold it up enough that will allow me to be able to sew it down and yet still be able to get this string through here. So that's what I'm about to do now is go ahead and sew down the hem. This is what the hem is looking like. I did not worry about finishing this edge because it's not going to fray. Now I did put a safety pin on the end of the strap and then I'm just going to go ahead and thread it through. There's a hole on each side. So once this goes through here, I'll be able to pull it out on the other side. And then I will pull it and gather it up. And I'm thinking that I will go ahead and tie the straps together when I'm wearing the dress. And the reason why I put a split at the bottom of the dress to begin with is because the dress is so long, I wasn't so sure that I would be able to move my legs when I walk. I didn't want it to be too tight. So that was the reason why I decided, well, maybe I'll just add a split to the side and then I'll put a drawstring through it just to kind of give it a little more, I don't know, just to kind of spice it up a bit, I guess. So here comes the string. And it's coming out of both sides. This is how the straps are looking once both of them are pulled through. One coming from the front, one coming from the back. And then if you decide to tie them together on the side, this is how it will look. And you can pull it to adjust the gathering here. You can make it tighter or you can make it a little loose. Just depends on how you want to wear it. And then you have the split on the side. Here is the skirt that was draped on the dress form. I ended up adding a ruffle to the hem in the same corduroy fabric but in blue. I also added a button on the right side and a snap on the inside left of the skirt. After the dress was completed, I tried it on and I made one small change and that was to shorten the drawstring ties. They were just way too long so I cut off several inches. My love share is going to be something that I recently learned that you can do on YouTube. So if you are watching a video and say for example someone is speaking too fast or they're speaking too slow, you can actually continue to watch the video but change the pace of the delivery. So you can just use the greater than sign on your keyboard to make the content go a little bit faster the people will start talking faster and what they're doing will be in a fast motion you can also slow everything down the same way by using the less than sign on your keyboard <laughs> 